So now that we understand how to work with our custom palettes and our custom icons, we're going to go ahead now and look at custom brushes. So in order to do that, we're going to go to File, New. We're going to open up a brand new Painter 12 default document. And I'm going to record a stroke. But before I do that, I'm going to choose a brush that I think is going to be a good starting place for a new custom brush. So I'm going to come to Pastel, and I'm going to choose the Chunky Oil Pastel. And then I'm simply going to go up to Brushes and choose Record Stroke. And then I'm just going to record a stroke with some variation in it like this that will showcase the character of that particular brush. I come over to brushes and say playback stroke and I click. You can see that all of the data that was recorded in that stroke is played back each and every time I click. I can change the color. I'll go ahead and change the color to something like say that. Click and you can see that all that information gets changed. So I'll just choose a color I think is good. That looks good and we're ready to roll as far as making changes to this brush now. Now what I want to do is I want to come up to window. I want to come over to brush control panels and go to general. And I want to change from grainy hardcover to grainy soft cover, and then click. And you can see that we end up with a very, very different looking brush as a result of that change. Now, I have two options in terms of saving that change that I've just made. If I come over here and I choose from the flyout menu, set default variant, what will happen is it, this will overwrite the default status of this chunky oil pastel brush, and we'll never be able to get back to this guy again short of manually going in there and deleting that default variant. However, we can set to save this variant as a brand new brush with a new name, and then we'll have this brush that we can get back to. So I'm gonna do that now, I'm gonna say save variant. And we're just gonna name this one Chunky Oil Pastel 1. Now we could choose to save the current color, but that's not necessarily something that you always wanna do. I'm gonna say okay. And now if we come over here and we look, you'll find that we have Chunky Oil Pastel and we have Chunky Oil Pastel 1. If we click with Chunky Oil Pastel 1, we get what we expect. However, if we go back up to Chunky Oil Pastel and we click, you'll see that it's still set on those same settings. Well, we have two options here. We can come up here and we can go to the flyout menu. We can say Restore Default Variant, or we can simply click this first icon right here as long as we have the Chunky Oil Pastel selected, and that will reset us back to our default variant status. So now that we have our grain set for our, our grainy hardcover, and then for our chunky oil pastel one, we have grainy soft cover, like so. So now we have two completely separate brushes. That's really all there is to creating new custom brushes within Corel Painter. However, outside of Corel Painter, a bunch of stuff happens, and we're going to look at that in the next video.